Unified Sports opens up a lot of doors for people. Um, and I will say for people with and without intellectual disabilities, people get to see them for their abilities, not what they can't do, but what they can do. When Jake was a baby, he was sick a lot. Um, he was always getting ear infections or respiratory infections. And so he missed a lot of the milestones as we were, as he was developing. We were also told that he had hypotonia, which is low muscle tone. When he was five, we did a muscle biopsy and they diagnosed him with mitochondrial myopathy, which is a neuromuscular disease. Other diagnoses and disorders were identified, speech apraxia, which is a communication disorder, um, as well as his intellectual disability. There were periods of time where we were seeing different specialists and doctors who said he's never going to be able to walk, he's not going to jump, he's not going to be able to ride a bike, he won't have very limited speech and people aren't going to be able to understand what he's saying. And none of that is true today. He can do all of those things. What do you love about basketball? Teal fans. Cheering your friends on? Yeah, that is a lot of fun part. I think you also like these See who. He's getting incited about sports and that's one of the things is, you know, a parent of a child with intellectual disability, you're always, you, you, I want to say the phrase, you mourn the things that you're not going to get to do, but you, you know, when they're younger, you don't expect your child to be part of a team. Um, we got to high school and they had the unified teams and it just, it, it changed everything. We have over 8,000 schools nationwide in 49 states. Natick High School is just the epitome of a unified champion school. We intentionally promote social inclusion. He was so excited and wanted to unify basketball. And he loved it so much he wanted to do another sport. And there was no other fall sport, so he got to do junior varsity indoor track. And then COVID happened and he hurt his knee. I think when he tore his ACL, that was a very difficult experience for us. It happened in March of 2020, right before things shut down. It took a couple months till things opened up and we were able to get that MRI to prove that yes, he did tear his ACL. Even going into surgery, we're not sure that Jake really understood what it meant that you know he was gonna have to go through the surgery and then learn to walk again and go through all of the 10 months of PT that he did. We still are working on conditioning and strengthening the knee. He still has to do exercises. We're at an every other night situation now, but um, it's something we're gonna have to continue for the next several years. After lots of physical therapy, by the time the last game came along, um, he had the ability to shoot the ball. He just couldn't really move side to side. So I brought the idea up to his parents saying like, hey, what if we just stuck Jake here at the block right near the hoop that he's shooting at? And in the last game, he was able to go onto the court and shoot a basket for us. And everyone in the stands was just cheering super loud for him, just as loud as he likes to cheer for us. And the execution couldn't have worked out better. It was like a Disney movie. First pass, he made a great catch, first shot. Nothing but net. We were able to get him off the court, injury free. That was one of the best moments of the season. And when he had his ACL injury, we didn't know you know, what, what his track season was going to look like and what he was going to be able to, to handle. Um, and then kind of seeing where he progressed throughout the season from start to finish and even just his, like what he thought he could handle was really impressive. So we have a family motto and that's, why do we fall down? To learn to pick ourselves back up. And it's one of the things is, so you ask him, Jake, why do you fall down? To pick myself back up, to get back up, as he'll tell you. Unified track this year, even with his brace on, he fell. And it's just, you could see him with the brace now and after the injury, his confidence isn't quite there. And it's hard, but he knows I gotta get back up. And so he gets back up and he finished the race. Everybody's here to recognize you, Jake, for your hard work in coming back from such a devastating injury of tearing your ACL. You worked hard on the basketball court, you worked hard in physical therapy, you worked hard on the track, and I was lucky enough to see how hard you worked in the classroom. There is a USA Today High School Sports Award, and you have won the award. Special of his athlete of the year, congratulations. Congratulations, buddy. Can I get a hug? Jake, I'm so happy for you. You have done so much hard work, and you deserve this award. I love you, buddy, and uh, I wish you all the best. Jake Blatt and Savage, congratulations, brother. Congratulations, Jake. I am so proud of you. I love you. You are awesome, kid. I love you.
So on behalf of Special Olympics, thank you again, Jake, for who you are and for being such an amazing person.